Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's product review of some roaming cooking equipment and a recipe that comes from the author herself, the owner of the company. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. There are only a few of them. They are perfect for a solo meal or one person dining. If you're backpacking or staying in hostel or even if you're a college student, you can make this in a matter of moments. This is where you can contact this lady. Her name is Jackie Trigus. and if you need more information from her about her cookware, feel free to contact her. She's also I've written a little book called The Backpacker Chef. It's actually quite compact. It's filled with pictures and it's spiral bound. It'll fit in your backpack quite easily or your pocket. This recipe has been reproduced with her permission using her cookware. This is the kit, one of the kits that I bought. It's a space saving multi-purpose food container times two. It's BPA free. You can use it in the microwave, the dishwasher, the freezer and the oven. There are two containers in this pack and they fold really quite flat. They've got a watertight, airtight seal to keep your food fresh, which clips shut quite easily. You can hold your food upside down and you can see it's quite airtight. The beauty of this is it won't get damaged in your backpack. This particular one holds 700 mils, so that's good for a salad or she claims it a half sandwich will fit in there perfectly. And it folds down to just about nothing. The one that we're going to be using for this is about a mug size. It's 300 mils and you can cook in this and look how small it is. With a lid on, it only weighs about 125 grams and you can actually sit that in your pocket if you want to. Very easy to clean, no stick, and it doesn't hold any food odors. It's it's a food safe product. Again, it has quite a firm lip in the top of it here so that it won't collapse while you're using the top of it. And it has a silicon seal along the inside here that can be removed in case you get any liquid or, or contamination in there so you can keep it nice and clean. Good quality, strong product. Now, we're going to be making Jackie's meatloaf in a mug. The recipe calls for white bread and I've got nothing against white bread. I just don't seem to have any at the moment because we've already used it up. We've had some visitors. So I'm going to be using it with some lovely grain bread. So we've got some lean beef mince here. Use any mince that you like. Some Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper some, and some milk. Pop our bread into a little container, break it up a little bit. Now you can pack this when it's cooked with a lid on. Grab yourself some fresh bread to have it with or some salad or a couple of boiled eggs and that is a perfect meal. You've got fiber, you've got protein, not too much fat and calcium. So just pour your milk over the top there. Just let that soak in. Once that's all mixed in and it's gotten quite soft, it will get softer if it's a slice of white bread incidentally. We sprinkle our Worcestershire sauce over the top. Okay, our bread has soaked up all of that milk now. We just add our spring onions, which have just been finely sliced. There's only one spring onion there, so that's really quite cheap to buy from your greengrocer. Good pinch of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, and our mince. And we're just going to mix that all around until it's well combined. The only rule with silicon is, really, is you can't put it in too high a heat. You can't put it over a gas flame, and you can't use knives to cut on it. So if you treat it with respect, you will get years and years of trouble-free use out of it. And as you know, we have big fans of silicon here in the Cheeky Richo kitchen. Now, this is a mug recipe. You could cook this in a mug if you don't have one of these containers, but I'm going to just show you how really convenient it is to make this pop the lid on it and there's your lunchbox already done no washing up it's all made in the same container that you cook it in and eat it from now we just cook this for four to five minutes depending on the power of your microwave and let's face it if you're in a hotel room or in a dorm the microwaves are going to vary in wattage and power anyway so there's no real thumb just keep your eye on it and test it when it's no longer pink there's no blood running out of it and it smells cooked it's ready to serve no reason to have takeout if you come into a hotel room late at night, you can always grab a few groceries, had it all night grocers or something like that. And there you go. Now it won't rise, it won't sink, it won't do anything. It'll just make a little bit of juice in there. And that is a perfect size for this recipe. So into the microwave we go for four to five minutes on full power. Along with the handy cooking and storage equipment, Becky sells these little sporks. They're tiny, they weigh very little. She's also got these three piece knife, fork and spoon set. She also has one that has chopsticks in it and it's made of like, like wetsuit material I suppose and this will keep your pack and your clothes safe because it's quite thick and there's nothing sharp to rub against your clothes and you know your toiletries and whatnot and it's all a one-piece construction so you don't have to worry about the handles breaking like in one of my recent videos and it's just a light handy thing to carry this book will fit in there as well great for noodles and things like that 
cookbooks nice and light with lots of lovely recipes in there she's got things from fried rice hot pot potato bake and some of even handy reference guides for the some of the different vegetables that are called different names in different countries and also she has some handy hints and a conversion chart which is perfect this is the little cup you just pop it out turn the handle and look at that it squashes down to very little and that fits in your, inside your pack as well so there's your your cutlery your cup your little container that you can put your cereal in it and a little book it's absolutely perfect for backpacking or when you're traveling light okay four and a half minutes later on full power and this is what you should have it's well and truly cooked it's come away from the sides a little bit it's not stuck at all so it's very very easy to clean <laughs> smells really good and it's very good for you she recommends that you wait about two minutes before you dive in or you can just simply put the lid on it pop it in your backpack and there you have a delicious meal that's good to go I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes there and I'll show you what it looks like inside it smells really good and it's cheap as chips to make I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration and product review of a roaming cookings siliconware and cutlery. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of the Backpacker Chef because it's a really handy, ready reckoner go to if you're traveling on your own. Have a little taste, shall we? We'll just use the spork that she sells. And look at that. It's moist, cooked all the way through. Can you see that? I'll just turn that over. It's very hot. How's that? Don't forget to stop by and say hello to Jackie and tell her Cheeky sent you. Thanks for watching. Mmm. Yum yum. <laughs>